Welcome to the IT Systems 1 open house video. I'm Josh Schmidt, the teacher for IT Systems 1 this year. My email address is there on the slide. Uh, feel free to email me at any time. Um, when we are back in person, uh, our class is held in the IT lab, which is room 138. For all the nitty gritty details about this class, feel free to type in that shortened link there for the syllabus, um, and that will have a lot more details um, as well. That is also available directly from the Canvas uh, page too. A little bit about me to get us started. I earned my Bachelor and Master's of Science in Computer Engineering from Case Western Reserve University. Uh, I worked as a software engineer for 11 years uh, before I decided to go back to school to become a teacher. Um, and to do that, I earned my Master of Arts in Teaching from National Lewis University. Um, it's hard to believe, but I'm starting my 14th full year as a teacher at NNHS, um, and this is my ninth year teaching computer science related courses. Before that, I was teaching physics. IT Systems 1 is a one semester course um, in which students will get an in-depth hands-on look at the hardware and software used to power personal computers and information systems. Um, they will design and configure and install IT systems. Um, by the time you view, view this presentation, you should have received your materials for this course, uh, which includes one such system. Um, they will learn to diagnose, troubleshoot, optimize, and repair authentic issues. Uh, we're going to explore Windows and Linux-based operating systems. They will get an introduction to virtualization, cloud computing, and remote device management as well. There is the opportunity for three credit hours of dual credit uh, through the College of DuPage, and I will be sharing more information about that with everyone later. We have two very robust pathways in our district, which is wonderful. Um, our computer science pathway has a whole series of courses starting in computer programming one and two, progressing through AP Computer Science A, um, and ending at our capstone course of software engineering. We also have a couple of electives concerning web design and game design. Um, this course, IT Systems 1, is at the beginning of our information technology pathway. It is followed by IT Systems 2, um, which is then followed by a year-long course, um, the capstone of our information technology pathway, which is our cybersecurity course. Probably on the top of all of our minds is how is the technology going to work during e-learning. Uh, the good news is that during e-learning, all activities can be completed at the, on the technology that's been provided. We will simply use our Chromebooks for many activities, um, but the ITS kit, which you should have received by now, um, which includes a desktop computer, a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, um, a wireless adapter, all the necessary cables, and a flash drive with a Windows install. That's being loaned to each student for use during stages one and two. Um, please also keep the box to make it easier to return this kit, um, which we will need in the classroom during stages three and four. Most of class time is spent focused on learning activities. Learning activities is where students are exploring, they're discovering, they're taking risks, they're making mistakes, they're asking questions, they're helping each other, they're practicing, they're getting feedback, they're self-assessing. What this looks like uh, is sometimes homework reading and completing our note sheets. Um, there are lectures and demonstrations, um, we do a lot of class-wide pair or solo practice activities. We have some quizzes. Um, not all of these learning activities are scored, but some are scored to give that intermediate feedback. Um, and those that are scored will be entered Infinite Campus, um, and they will comprise 10% of the coursework grade. Our summative assessments are where students have finished these learning activities and they're ready to demonstrate their mastery. And they do that through performance labs, they do that through presentations, they do that through uh, more traditional exams. Um, all of these um, assessments are scored and entered in Infinite Campus and comprise 90% of the coursework. Type of support that your students can expect from me, I will post my office hours weekly on Canvas during e-learning that will be on, on Zoom. We also have a Google chat room where we can ask questions and, and answer each other's questions. 
Um, email works great, um, especially for those questions that are uh, personal or private in some way. Um, and there's a lot of resources on Canvas as well. Your student also can benefit from support from you. Um, my recommendations are to emphasize your student's understanding rather than their grade. The grade will follow. Uh, encourage your student to communicate with me. Um, I'm not a scary person, uh, whether that's real time or via email. Um, encourage them to complete their assignments on time. Uh, not getting behind uh, is, is really important. Um, encourage them to take advantage of all opportunities to demonstrate understanding, and that includes reassessments. Um, please share with me anything that is important for me to know about your student. Um, if you have told the school, that is great. Just don't assume that they've necessarily told me. Finally, here's our semester units. Uh, we're going to start with operating systems, um, specifically Windows, um, but including the command line interface, um, Windows utilities. Uh, we'll, we'll then do operating system troubleshooting, um, and then we will focus on Linux. After that, we will focus on internal hardware, including disassembling and assembling uh, a desktop computer, and then hardware troubleshooting. Uh, we don't normally do them in this order. In case you're curious, usually we start with internal hardware and hardware troubleshooting, um, but I've rearranged the units this semester in hopes that perhaps uh, we will be to phase three or phase uh, to phase three by the time we get to internal hardware, um, which is easier done in, in a lab with more direct assistance. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or comments or concerns. Uh, thanks again.